what is up you guys welcome back welcome back welcome back to what uh -huh, a quick little video as you can tell by the title of this video this video is about our guy mark sebastian yes mark sebastian is bored as hell on this cruise the other day he was just having a day you know some days are good days some days are bad days he's human people are entitled to have good days people are entitled to have bad days and people are upset that he is very vocal about how he was feeling his day started off not so well but it ended up it seemed as if his day ended a little better than it started take a look what I'm sorry, I have standards. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I am so excited for you that you spend so much money to go on this cruise and that you have a story and that like all that stuff. Like I'm happy. And if you love cruising, I love cruising for you. I do, but I don't like cruising, right? I like blue cheese. You don't. I don't go ill. Like you're a fucking weirdo, you know? So what does it matter? <laughs> I'm not staying on this fucking cruise. You know what I did today? After after the tender experience, I went back to my room and I Googled Ushuaia to LAX. <laughs> Cause I, I'm like, I need to get off this boat. I'm sorry. I, fu I hate it. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Maybe cause I've just been on the boat. I haven't touched solid land in like a week. I, I hate it. <laughs> I want to get off so bad. And you can think I'm, I don't care. At this point, think I'm fucking entitled. Think I'm ungrateful. Go ahead. I hate it. Yeah, I'm starting to the seeds. Do you wanna come on this one? See what it's like? And I was like, are, are you guys actually crazy? <laughs> Have you not been seeing these videos? No, I'm not going on the fucking cruise. It's called literally the big gay cruise. I'm going, to, I'm already losing my mind. I'm getting to fights with the friend, like my friends that I have on this ship. Cause I feel like everyone is actually like going crazy too. Cause we all been on this fucking boat. <clears throat> Did I see the King Penguins? Did you guys watch the video? Did you watch it? I do not want to stay till the fucking end of this cruise. I hate it. Why do you want me to be miserable? Please. What do I hate the most about it? The old people. The hid the hideous decor. The fact that the company that runs it exploits their, wor their workers and fucking sucks. Like. Am I the youngest person here? No, there's some kids. There's some younger kids. Oh, thank you for the little thing. They drink every time Mark complains. You're gonna get drunk so quick. <laughs> Luxurious, bitch, are you crazy? What is luxury about this hellscape? I need you to I need you to give one thing. Give me one. Just I'm I'm asking for one singular thing. That I could go, oh yeah, that's pretty luxurious. I'm living in a fucking Radisson. I'm living in a, in a, in a Motel 6. Except in Motel 6s, you get bottles of water. Oh my God, that comment is, that will actually take me out. That, have you tried switching your perspective? A lot of other people are having a great time. That's fun. And I'm so proud of them. I'm so happy for them. I'm so excited that they are having a great time. Good on him. I'm not. <laughs> How many do I have left? Time is, it's, I actually don't know. What day is it? 
I think it's I think it's Wednesday. It, it's no, it's Monday. It's Monday. How many more days? I leave on the twenty third. I get off this fucking ship. What's today? The twelfth. I cannot have eleven days left. I cannot. The fifteenth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cool. So I have like a week. Nine? What's the cruise like? I mean, what's the food like? The dining room is good. Windjammer sucks and everyone's lying to you. I don't know what to tell you. They are. They're lying to you. Only sometimes the desserts are good. I have an okay omelet today. There were some good nachos like a week ago. Why you bitching? People would die to be on that cruise. Well, bitch, I hope they, I hope they do die to get on this cruise. I'd love to see it. In fact, I would love for them to battle it out for my spot. I, and I would love to watch it. I want to place bets on them. My God. That's what I have to say. Now, whenever the old people start talking to me about whatever they're trying to insert themselves, I'm literally just gonna go, have you ever seen the girl that talks to the to the, the fourth graders or like the, the people like they're fourth graders and she goes, catch a bubble friend. No, no, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh good, my door's open. I hate it here. Oh my God, I actually need to go. A three-year cruise? I actually can't even think about that. That's actually my worst nightmare. That's actually actually my actual worst nightmare. What cruise? Oh, no, I'm done. I actually can't do this. Sorry, I just have to take a second. I'm so sorry. I just have to take a second. I'm okay. <laughs> Get me off this fucking ship now. <laughs> Please. Airlift me out of here. How much would that be, you think? If I, if I put together a GoFundMe, will everyone pay for me to get your lift off the ship? No, you wouldn't. You guys want to see me. You literally want to see me on this fucking ship. <sighs> I'm, not, I'm going crazy. I'm really going crazy, guys. I'm not even kidding. I can't do this. Oh my god. It's fine. I can do this. I am doing it. I actually need to like two seconds. Hold on. You know, I'm getting so frustrated.
You're right. I, th I really should walk around and get some air. Why don't we, let's go look at the nice little ocean. Let's look at that because that actually does usually help me. Is if I will do a little dual moment so I can talk to you guys. You guys can look at the ocean because you guys do make me feel better usually. Because it, it feels like I'm doing it for something if I'm, if I'm doing this, you know. That is an offensive light. So... Your questions. Where are the questions? If I don't relapse because of this cruise, I want to let you know now I will never do drugs ever again. Like, if I make it through this without taking a fucking sip of alcohol, like a sip of alcohol, I will be beyond. I don't think anyone understands the, um, I'm not the only one that is feeling this way either. I can tell you that much. All right, we're gonna switch my, we're gonna, oh, look at the little corgi. <laughs> we're gonna switch um, my, my little mood and we're gonna, We're just gonna chill. Is there a casino? You wanna send the addict into the casino? Of course I've made tons of friends. since day one because I hate it here. It's not even just about the, the cruise. It's not even just about the, the decor or the company or it's like it, they're, they're just a mess. Royal Caribbean's a fucking mess. I get you can't predict the weather. That's fine. I understand that. But like they wanted to put us on port today. I, you know, I didn't even have, I didn't even have tickets. Like if, even if I got off on the tender, I didn't even have tickets to go to see the penguins because there was two cruise ships docking on the Falkland Islands today. There was us and celebrity, which means that there was 4,000 people going to an island of island that has a population of 3,000 people. So it wasn't even, I wasn't even like confirmed that I was gonna get to see the king penguins. I just woke up. I went back to my room after I didn't get on the tender after they canceled the port and I slept until like noon. I'm fine. I'll be better in like two seconds. When did we find out I was canceled? Literally five minutes after I got the, the tender ticket. No, I'm not staying on this cruise for nine months. I'm only here for, I think, seven more nights. I don't know what day it is. The 15th, so this, tonight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh my God, eight more nights. You're right, maybe I will. Maybe I'm gonna go find the arcade. Maybe I'm gonna go play in the arcade today. Maybe I'm gonna go play in the arcade after I have an interview at, at, um, at one.
I have an interview at one and then I can do the arcade, the arcade. What time is it now? It's 12.05. You guys wanna to go to the arcade for a second? I have to be a little complaining brat. I can go have fun. Look at my little tender ticket. This doesn't matter anymore. This doesn't fucking matter. Where did my little, where did my little, my little jewel friend go? You like this jacket? Got it. Let's go. I'm gonna bring my tripod because I feel like I might need to set it up there because I don't know if they have like that. Okay, let's go. I don't actually know exactly how to get to the, and they could, have closed the 12th floor, but we're gonna go anyway and see. Ooh. All right, but you guys, you have to give me an A when it's like 12. Hello, how are Hello. you? Okay, when it's like A, when it's like 12.50 EST, you have to give me a warning, okay? I actually don't know how to get, oh good, they're playing Titanic music. I hate it when they play the Titanic music. In 30 minutes, so we'll go play for 30 minutes. You know how they play the Titanic music as they're like sinking? <laughs> Look, you'll see. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a live orchestra. It's actually cool that they have a live orchestra, but. Oh, babe, it's giving Titanic. We're going down. I'm staying strong, I'm good. I'm okay. I just cannot, it's just there's people everywhere, guys. The, oh, that's why I stay in my room, because there's, I'm safe in my room. There's, I, and I know you're gonna be like, oh my God, of course you're on a cruise. Really? Like there's just supposed to be people everywhere like this? <sighs> How about the library? There's four people in the library right now. Also the library. You want to hear how quiet the library is? Hold on. I don't think there's any way to get up to the arcade by not going outside. Because it's on that side of the ship. I'm pretty sure you have to go outside in order to I don't like massages. Guys, I'm not here for nine months. I am here for, um, I'm here for like 18 nights. Well, now it's like seven or eight nights. This is the kids area, I can't film here. That's the kids area behind me. Oh, here's a community board. So this is like, wait, let me turn this around. Oh, my coffee. Honestly, give me, oh, they're playing Fleetwood Mac and the kids. <laughs> uh, 
they're playing fucking South Fleetwood Mac. Stevie Nicks, they're playing Stevie Nicks in the kids area. I'm gonna just sit there for a second. Hold up. At least this is nice music. <laughs> So as you can see, Mark was having a pretty bad morning. People are entitled to have a bad day, whether they're on vacation, on a cruise or not. But this here, Mandy, the cruise planner over on TikTok, decided to chop up Mark's live and make it sound as if he was extremely ungrateful to be on the trip. I mean, my take on his bad morning, uh, her response to his bad morning was more or less that people can't have bad days on vacation. And her way is the right way and the only way because she's the cruise planner, right? So she decided to post this video on her TikTok that I'm about to share with you. And um, Mark ended up meeting up with Anthony a little bit later in the day. And that's what he is responding to in his live with Anthony. Take a look. Cruise news update. The TikToker who was put on the ultimate world cruise by Royal Caribbean that's nine months long and has gained a lot of attention and traction here on TikTok and was specifically put on this cruise in order to create drama and document the drama once off the cruise. And this does not surprise me or any actual longtime cruiser at all because this cruise has been sold to so many people on this app as a dramatic spectacle to be seen. They promised all this drama, they promised scandal, and it turns out it's just a regular cruise, except it's nine months long. And most of us have been saying, those of us who have cruised for a long time and have had multiple cruises, this was a really bad idea um, as a way to kind of promote cruising because it's actually going to do the opposite. Because cruising is supposed to be about relaxing. And yes, there's a lot of fun to be had, you know, on, on go-karts or on flow riders or at the arcade or the casino. But as this poor guy is figuring out pretty early on, because I think he's only been on there for like a week, maybe two, Cruising's not typically high energy. I mean, it might have like high energy moments, but above all, it's about relaxation, enjoying the ocean, connecting with your friends and family members who are also going on the cruise or making new friends. Very rarely is it like this high intensity drama type of atmosphere. And so somebody that kind of craves that is, is, is going to have that reaction. They're going to get bored very quickly and they're going to get stir crazy. Now me, I love it. It's fine, honey. I'll relax. I'll get some sleep. <laughs> I'll, I'll get caught up on like the mental health stuff and really feel amazing disconnected at sea. But I'm one of the first people to tell you cruising is not for everyone. In fact, like a month ago, I made a video that said, hey, cruising's not for everyone. Cruising might not be for you. And people got mad and said that my video proved that they never wanted to go on a cruise. And I was like, good, because I was just trying to help. Whoever thought it was going to be a good idea to put someone like that on there to help cruising or to help promote cruising really shot themselves in the foot because it's just going to make a lot of people not want to go. Put people on cruises who want to be on cruises, who love cruises just as they are. There are a lot of tired and overworked young people who I'm sure would love to change positions with this guy. Why they decided to promote this as some big like scandalous thing, I'll never know. But in all seriousness, I hope he is having a better day and I hope things get better for him soon because that actually made me sad for him. I hate to see anyone have that rough of a time, truly. Especially on something that's supposed to be fun and, and or a vacation. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, all right, we're gonna wait till you get a thousand people in your room and then I'm gonna, and then we're gonna huh. go charge my jewel. That's Mandy does not know how to play it yet. Tell me about it. Tell me why. Okay, listen, I didn't mean to make her cry. I'll give you the tea. I'll give you the tea. She made six videos about me being like, oh my God, he was on live crying about how he wants to get a, a GoFundMe to get himself air, a, to get him airlifted off the ship. If you can't understand that that's like, a, a, like me being like sardonic and sarcastic and being hyperbolic, girl, that's on you, babe. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, and then so I made, I was in my live and I said a couple things being like, hey, you know, I feel like this is, you know, this is a little dumb that you, 
would say this about me. So I'm gonna sort of just like come on here and go blah blah blah. And then she yeah, she kind of was dismissing my feelings. And then she and then people started saying that she, mean things about her, which I don't ever agree with. And everyone should have remained very nice. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you this. This is this is the actual tea. It's that when people people are going in there who don't like me and are starting to defend me in the comment section while also um, calling her names so that it looks bad on me and my following. That's what people do. And I hope everyone's smart enough to realize that, that it's obviously not people that are, are, are my followers. It's people who are obviously going, oh, I hate him, let's make him look bad. Really fab, I love it. How is the reading? I loved reading, it was amazing. I love it so true. Can we go back to the game? Sorry. Oh my God. They were like, can we go back? To so sorry. Yes. God forbid. So Mark, who answered your question and how many points did they get? Okay, there was a us. Monica. There was a Monica that Let's answered that my question. Here. Let's put that right there. Yes. And, no, and I, I, thinking, get, I get to pick? No, no. The Monica gets written oh, in. I'm putting... You can write it in if you want. Okay. Monica gets... Monica. 10 points. Okay. And that puts Monica Actually, in second place. But I want her to get 11 points. 11 points. 11 points. Monica gets 11 points. Make sure Fabulous. she hears what you're saying. What time is it? Oh it's time for you to go. Yeah. Guys. Um, I love you all. You guys are all amazing. If you, um, I, I should, I'll be a guest on this soon. Yes. I'm okay. gonna, so I'm, here's how it works, guys. So thank you so thank much. Thank you, Mark. Bye, guys. Whoa. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, guys, you never know who's going to stop by at Ultimate World Cruise, Ultimate World Cruise, Ultimate World Cruise, TikTok trivia. You know why? There's so many ships that go off and stuff, and now I heard there's going to be a three-year cruise. Listen, I, I know so that New York and... I'm so they said New York and New Jersey are different worlds. I 100% know that New York and New Jersey are different worlds. I'm just saying that that's where the ship will be when I get off. <laughs> yeah, I just, I get like swept into TikTok, right? So my algorithm is like insane. I'm a conspiracy theorist. I get crazy Damn. sometimes. My, my castmates Damn. laugh at me all the time. Yes, CJ, talk to my, my babe. Okay, and then... So all of a sudden I was on the North Sea. I'm like, oh my God, these these waves are crazy. Then I got to Drake Passage and then I found out the ship that might not make it is going through Drake Passage. And then I see Mark and I'm like, oh my God, is he gonna he's like, he's on there. Drake Passage? And then yeah, I saw I, I, these I, ladies, these older women yelling at Mark or not yelling. I wouldn't say yelling. I'm being dramatic. Making videos. Making videos, like just being like, like, they're like older women, and they're like going at Mark, like, listen, well, this is why. I'm like, why are you even making those videos? You're like, so I have no idea. <laughs> so it's, I got it, it's so been a, 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 a ride. I got yeah. so obsessed I, I, with the entire thing. I can't and believe like, that I'm, I'm like, Somebody said, somebody said, somebody said, somebody um, said, Dina knows who you are, my, Mark. It's really, it's like really crazy. I woke up to your message and I was like, oh my God, like I've made it onto your FYP. Like it, it's just a moment for me. Yeah, if I oh make it God. onto some, like, some of my you. like babes FYP page, you. I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> well, I still you haven't been able to provide you, entertainment. This last week, I have my two kids playing with my hair. Um, oh my God. But Dina is from Jersey Shore, those, everybody who's asking, yes. so. Oh, and if yeah, you don't mind bugging, Go and vote for us for People's Choice Awards. Oh, okay. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, just go online? Is that online? Yeah, it's on People's Choice Awards. So if you want to vote for Jersey Shore Family Vacation, go for it. My kids are- I hate, plug me. away. My God. I love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I will Guys. definitely plug that in all my lives from now on. Like, I'm going to sign out with being like, go vote for Jersey Shore on the People's Choice Awards. Oh my God, I love you, Mark. Honestly, you, I love you. Oh, you people say been... they voted for it, Dina. You have people in the chat saying they voted Woo! for it. Yeah. Oh my God, Black Amethyst, I love your videos as well. I know you. I've, I watch your videos. I think you're really cool. It's, you're so nice. It's DJ Bob. Oh, Mark. Here. Crossover, you're crossover doing, episode. Oh, they want to crossover with you in, in Jersey. Oh my God, uh, Mark. I love. You're doing it, Dina. Mark. You are. Get you on something. I, I, I mean, we'll see. Like, I, I, it, this has just been Ooh, a an they said, experience. They want to know our two most favorite shipmates. <sighs> I don't like to say favorites. I'm not getting myself in trouble. I have eight more months. I can't play favorites. Oh, yes, I do. He seems fine. I, no, I know what She's favorite is. Uh, Swank a la mode, a.k.a. Shannon Marie. That's my favorite. I love Shannon. I mean, I really, I feel like the two people I've been really 
I, they're the three people that I've really been bonding with here um, are Nadine, Tam, and Bobby. I feel like I've just really sort of formed like oh a. Oh my god! Yeah, I want them out. Yeah. Like y'all chill. Y'all, y'all kick it. And and they just have like really I don't know I I love them so much. They're they're so nice. But also I've been bonding with Little Rap Brain. Also her mom is. <laughs> such a cool person yeah. she's an ex-science teacher so we when we got when we went to go see all the the penguins together she's like talking to me about my snake like she was so so cool but there are so many other people inside of the vloggers bloggers group that you may not see always there's Lindsay. Lindsay is so cool she's from phoenix also a teacher also a, also a teacher it's just like everyone has such a story behind them that like I don't know. I, that was the biggest thing that I learned from coming here was like, I looked at everyone as like sort of characters, right? Like I'm, I'm like, I'm watching a reality show. And when I came here and got to like humanize everyone and like talk to everyone and figure out everyone's story, it was like so inspiring to me that I was like, oh God, I can't cause drama with any of these people. Cause like, I would feel terrible. Y'all, somebody I said they just saw Anthony today. I've been I watching loved, I Tammy today. too. That the, who you were, who you, who you just said, Tammy and. Tam, Tam and Bobby. Tammy, Tammy and Bobby, yes, I, I watch them. I did watch you, Brandy. I've been watching like all of everyone. Um, thank you, thank you. I just saw Mark because I, for some reason I had like a weird connection with you. Hey, <laughs> everybody has, hey, everybody has yeah. their person, everybody has their thing, and I, I love that. I, I love that too. I think it's really fun that everyone roots for different people. Yeah, and like everybody, everybody is uniquely you different. follow all of them. I saw a meek. Amika, I want to say. Um, oh my god, Amika, amazing. She's Angie, so cute. amazing. So freaking cute and so stylish. I'm like, I wish I could be like that. I'm just like a hot and so always. sweet. Like, and she just is always beautiful. Even if she's just just woke up, she's like gorgeous. And I'm like, oh my god, get it, bitch. Like you know, but, but just as beautiful as she is, like she's that beautiful of a person as well. Like she's so, just so she's such a sweet person. I will also say that her husband is very attractive, and I will also say that her dad is super hot too. I'm just gonna come out and say that they're a beautiful family. That's uh, Amy K is also with her that. with her family, so. Yeah. I oh, thank that. you for those who are saying Brandy is for me. Thank you. Um, no, and Brandy, yeah, Allie and I've Andrew, been everybody. Your stuff too. I have been watching oh. your stuff, Brandy, and that's how I got here. All right. I, I, look, we appreciate it. Mark, you're yeah. more excited. Dina, I don't want to keep you. You have babies. I got to go. Thanks for joining. Dina, thank you so I much. I go. love you so much. I'm going to answer your message later on. We're going to talk. Thank you, Dina. Mwah. Okay, um, Shannon is doing well. Sorry, I saw some things on there on the couch, Shannon. Shannon is great. Uh, like I said, we have family dinner. That was super dope. Okay, Mark, how are you feeling now that she's gone? You can geek so out. Cool. I literally was, geek out. I was just telling you about, I didn't even know that she was in here. I love her. I think that she's so cool. I mean, she's really one of like the OGs of reality television. And I feel like Jersey Shore really is such like a, a cultural touchstone like that, no that is it is like it was like a moment in time right and you're like it wasn't oh my one of the God. first reality shows to go wild it I was just like that and i really do feel like they did so i honestly feel like they did so much for for women and for for women that were like very sex positive honestly and they were just like they were they were just so cool they had such personalities they were so distinct you know and i love anyone that can be pre-packaged as a halloween costume and like you know immediately who they are right no, and they were so fair. you know you've made it when you're like a exactly halloween costume. like yeah. and, and like to be a halloween costume is the for me the pinnacle of style like i say that all the time not the pinnacle members but i'm saying the <laughs> pinnacle of style that is like when you can be pre-packaged as a halloween costume and someone identifies you easily that to me yeah, i'm like that is that's pretty dope that's pretty dope. I mean, Dina's sucky hair. Oh, what course. are who are, we're talking about? Dina from, um, Jersey, from Jersey Shore, Shore was just on with us, y'all, and that's one of Mark's faves. So one I was talking, let Mark geek out and have that moment. I didn't even know she had TikTok. Uh, yes, Ami has TikTok. Yeah, Amike has TikTok. She's amazing. I mean, it, it's Amike. Um, I just just Google you, Amike Cruz. A A M I K E. I believe you. You'll find her. You want to learn more about Brandy? Okay, let me ask you questions. Okay. Oh, you're gonna interview me? I'm gonna yeah. be interviewed, y'all. Okay. So. What port are you like the most excited to go to and how come you are the most excited? Um, let's see. So Antarctica was one of the top. Um, so I like we've done that now Machu Picchu. And the reason is it'll be my it'll be, I think, my last wonder of the world. Wow, it'll be your, you've seen all of the other ones. I just did. Uh, I well, of the of the Chichen, new world wonders. Yeah. Uh, 
Antarctica was my seventh continent, so I'm part of the seventh Me continent. Me too! Club. I'm part of the seven continents too! I'm really proud of myself for and that And if one. I have it right, I think Machu Picchu is my last world wonder. Oh my god, that's I, crazy. I'm trying to think about if there's something I'm missing, but I don't think so. There's like less than a million and a half people that have been to all seven continents. Out of eight billion. That that was a crazy thing. Right? There's to like me. eight billion, I think. That was crazy. I don't know, don't quote me. me, but I know that there's like less than that because there's only like less than a, like a million and a half people who've been to Antarctica. And we've been. And I we saw did. it with my own eyes. We did. Also, we touched it because I went upstairs and touched the ice. Yeah, so we did touch it the ice. It counts. It counts. It counts. And we have the pictures to prove it. I, I have the pictures to prove it. I mean, oh my, I, that's where I was really using the binoculars. I thought like that was such I a... I can't wait to try this binocular on the, the camera. Binoculars today. are so cool. So can you take cool. a picture through the binoculars yeah, on the I'll camera? Show you, I'll oh show my you. gosh, I'm, y'all, I'm so excited. Like, I don't even know what to do about this. Like, the, the binoculars were one of the coolest additions to my, um... Heavy, yeah, I was, you know, I ate dinner with Joe, with Dad Joe today. Oh my gosh, See? that is so dope. Oh my gosh, uh -huh. that is so dope. Oh yeah, I've got to get this. Beginning. Look, so it's like this. You see that? See, I I like sort of blew them up. I mean, I I think I did pretty cool editing with my with my um, Antarctica stuff. We are not in Antarctica anymore. We no, are we're not. Back up north. Um, yeah. Stop. We should go on the Amazing Race. I know. I thought about that one. I think that would be a show for me. That, I bet you could do really well. Are you I really organized? Could, I, I think we could be a good pair, though. Oh, I think we would. Do, I, I think really we would do think we would do a we good would pair. Eat. Do you think we would be a good pair in the Amazing Race? Because I think we could do it. I'm, I am organized. I, I'm not organized, but I'm very like. But you're tactical. I'm very tactical. I'm, I'm very good at creative problem solving. Yeah. So like, if there were, and I'm very, very competitive I and really do it. <laughs> and not not like at all. Um, scared about like stepping on people's toes as we have found out like i will tell someone how i feel immediately did um do they still make the amazing race though yeah i think so Hi from they the did. philippines I both of us move like... 100 miles per hour <laughs> i know we really we do like, there was okay more... wait i guess they want you to ask me some more questions oh, okay cool i don't know all right actually you know what i have a really good um list of really good questions on my phone that i'm gonna ooh, ask okay. you okay okay oh i'm getting a real real interview now What's one thing that you've changed your mind about over the past year and why? Ooh, what's one thing I've changed my mind about in the past year and why? Um, you know what? I think that I've changed my mind about going somewhere twice because I definitely was the type of person that was like, I've been there. I'm so that kind of person. I don't, I don't watch back. movies twice either. I don't want to go back. Like I've already done that. But what I've learned is that like the experience of the people you're with can completely change the experience of the place you are. So just because you might have seen it one way before, it could be totally different and equally as memorable of an experience the next time with other people. That's really true. I, I have gone back to cities where I've been like, I didn't like it. Like, I really didn't like Milan for a really long time. And then I went back with the right people and it was really fun. Yeah. Um, OK, what was the last thing that cost you nothing but made you happy? Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. The last thing, you know what? That that rainbow at dinner. I love rainbows and like the biggest, like y'all this rainbow at dinner, right? When we were finishing dinner tonight was so big. Like I've never seen one so tall. That's crazy. Like so tall. I feel like for for me today was when I was really having like a hard time. I was just like sort of wandering the ship. I wanted to go to the arcade. It was closed. And then I just like was inside. Arcade was closed? Yeah, because the top deck was closed. Oh. So you can't get up there. But then I heard, um, Landslide by Fleetwood Mac, which is like one of my favorite songs. And also, no, I rewind. I just heard um, this guy doing the, um, it's Stand By Me. Self. I love that. Because like, I can be clumsy. My friend calls me the most athletic clumsy person she knows. And I think that just like being able to laugh at myself and not take myself too seriously. I laugh at myself a lot as well. Yeah. I'm also, I think, I think. For me, I'm really, I'm fiercely loyal. Like if one of my friends is like, I hate that person, I'm like, I hate that person too. I'll yeah. fight them if you want me to. Yeah. Like I'm down, I'm down. My my, my loyalty is very clear with my friends, and I, I like that part about me. <laughs> That's great. Uh. Okay. If you had a box full of all the lost items that you lost throughout your life, what would be the one thing that you look for? <laughs> Listen. I'm looking for that first CD I ever got, which was the freaking Mary J. Blige, What's the 411? Because I lost the CD twice and I just don't understand why I can't keep What's the 411. So I would be looking for my What's the 411 CD. And just to have it. I'm just saying, just to have it. I think that's a, a good answer. I love Mary J. Blige, obviously. 
Um, wait, okay. If you could have dinner with either your great great grandparents or your great great grandchildren, who would you want to have dinner with? Oh, that's two greats. Hmm. I would do great great grandchildren only because if I was having someone having dinner with someone in the past, I would want it to be like way too far. In the, I, would, I would want it to go all the way back. I want to know what dinosaurs look like. You know what I mean? I want to know if we were right about the dinosaurs. So I, I would say great great grandchildren just because I'd be like, I don't know, like, what, what went on, girl? Like, are we alive still? Like, what's up? Well, because it's great, great, I would have preferred it to be great because I was, like, super close to my great-grandma. Like, oh. she was my heart. So you get to meet her mom, though. So I get to meet her mom. So I think I'd go back because I'd, I'd want to see who made my great-great, my great-grandma the person she is. That's really sweet. And I'm like, I want to know whether or not, like, the internet is still a thing. <laughs> You're like, I want to meet. <laughs> I'm like, tell me lotto numbers. Um... <laughs> These are great questions. What's the nicest compliment someone could ever give to you? Ooh, the nicest compliment someone could ever give to me. Um, ooh, I'm going to think about that one. Um, that they appreciate me being authentic because I want to be true to myself and be true to the person I am and like not have any false pretenses. That's great. What about you? Um, I think my favorite compliment would be that, like, I maybe always know the right thing to say. Yeah. That I can always, that they, that they could always come to me and know that, like, I would never ever judge them or anything. Like, I, I feel like I really try to remain as open-minded as possible. Um, and so I really take pride in the fact that, like, I, I I'm not really close to my family, so my friends are sort of my family, and I really put a lot of effort into making sure that I maintain those relationships, so it's important for me to know that my friends know how much I love them. You know, that's a good point, though. I might change my answer. Uh, the joke with my family is that I've never met a stranger, so it's very much on the same, on the same uh, like, wavelength as you. Like, no matter where I go, no matter who I meet, I like to keep in touch with people, and, like, relationships are very important to me, so I think that I like that. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, if you could watch one movie again for the first time, what would it be? Ooh, one movie for the first time. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, y'all. Don't laugh at me, y'all. But girls just want to have fun. With Cindy Lauper was one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. Cindy Lauper? What, she, what, what she makes a cameo. Do? She makes a cameo in that movie. Girls just want to have fun, and I think if I could watch it all over again, that would be my movie. I love that. So random. And that made you really it's, happy? It did. It's probably like a class C movie. Might be. It's probably not one of the biggest blockbusters ever. No, but. it doesn't matter whether. I mean, like, I feel like for me, maybe like, I wish I, there's a really amazing Korean thriller called The Handmaiden. Mm, not I The Handmaid, that. but The Handmaiden. I think that that was like one of the movies that like blew my mind. Um, another Japanese horror movie called, I'm giving a couple answers, One Cut of the Dead, but also, I like horror. I, I, and my next answer is The Blair Witch Project. Ooh, ooh, I wish I, I'm scary. I, can't I wish watch I any could rewatch The Blair Witch Project for the first time because that really piqued my interest in filmmaking and, and how you can get such a realistic portrayal of what it would be like to like have this like paranormal, like paranormal haunting. And the best thing about the Blair, the Blair Witch Project is that you never see anything, you know, yeah. like you never. So that's the scary thing. It's like this. It, the scariness is the lack of anything. It's the lack of visuals. Yes. Yeah, Sarah Jessica Parker was in Girls Just Want to Have Fun as well. That's the like first movie. First movies, I think it was. It, it's old movie. I think I'm sure you my the age with sibling? that. You're, yeah, I'm the oldest sibling. Do you have do you have any other sisters or brothers? Just Shannon. Just Shannon. Nine. Yeah, um, I'm the, I'm the middle child, if you can oh, tell. Oh, now, also, now it's come out. Now I'm also coming. Scorpio. If you can all the things. middle child and Scorpio and we're okay. finding out about Mark here y'all he's interviewing me but I think we're finding out about him in the past year what was the best purchase you made under a hundred dollars <clears throat> these are good questions these now. are good questions and I was very I, been... I was very frugal for the last year because I knew I was coming on this so the best purchase I made I'm trying to think hmm oh Listen, this phone that I got right before I came on this trip, so I could capture the, I so I could capture the pictures, and it's under a hundred because I I found the best free phone in the plan. Wow, really? Yes. And I, yes. I love that. That's what makes you excited, like the that like the bargain of uh -huh. it. Yeah, I was like, don't get. I I want the phone that takes the best pictures included in the plan. I'm not paying extra. Wow. I, I mean, that's great, but but it's it's important that you have a good phone that you that you take photos with. I think that that's like 
it's not really about the phone. It's about the pictures being able right. to have that. Exactly. I want to get better at like going back through my camera roll and like looking at images. I mean, I've been looking so much at the at the Antarctica ones, which is like incredible. Um, oh, best hundred dollars I've spent. I went for my birthday. Actually, this isn't a hundred dollars, but I'm gonna I'm gonna consider it only because it was like I paid a hundred dollars for my ticket. But I did take all of my friends. Um, I had a good year, right? For for like work wise. And so I decided to take all of my friends to this wildlife sanctuary where we got to meet a sloth. Ooh. And I Did you cried. Touch it? Yes. And oh. I touched the sloth and I never knew how soft sloths were. I think I even thought about how they would feel. I just I feel like I've gotten to do so many cool things this like things this year. And like obviously, listen, I didn't grow up with money at all, right? And so like having been able to make money influencing uh, has been so cool and I feel like I always the best one hundred dollars though is like getting to like pay for my friend for something you know like any any yeah. of my friends take yeah, my yeah. friends out to dinner take my friends out to a movie and be like don't worry about it like it's it's okay like it's my treat I I love doing that because so many people have done that for me over time so the best hundred dollars I spent is the next hundred dollars I spend on a friend I love it I love it let's see isn't uh, Mark a nepo baby <laughs> <laughs> no wait oh, no who do you wait who do you think my my family is because I gotta know this right you like because I don't know if I'm related to them. yeah who do you think I'm related to. I, I, I don't, I'm not a Nepo baby at all, actually. I really, um, am I going to be sad to leave? I'm going to ask someone if you're like, like you're sitting at a dinner party and you want to start a conversation, yeah. you know? And so I, I just found them. And so um, I, they want to know, okay, uh, where, where, who's from Mark or me or I'm both from of Long us? Island and I'm from East Lansing, Michigan. You're from Michigan. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know We're that. from Michigan. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, okay. What has been your favorite age you've been so far and why? Oh, um, I would probably say like a number or a range. Go white. I saw that. Um, Anything you can you can say. I you would probably say like mid thirties because I lived in Dubai. Well, I lived in the Emirates. I was not in Dubai. I was in a small town. And wow, I had no idea. That was some fun times. Like we got it in. That's all I can say about that. Those were some super fun times living in the United Arab Emirates. What did you do in, in, in the United Emirates? I was a kindergarten teacher. Oh my God. You've lived a million lives. I've lived a million lives. I've That's done a crazy. lot. I've, no started o- I've started over a lot and done like 500 different things. I, same. I've also yeah. done a lot of different things. My favorite age, honestly. Oh, Mark, you're Jennifer Aniston, Brad Pitt's Nepo baby. Oh my God, I wish. <laughs> Um, I'm am, I like, am I like 25? Yeah, so that's exactly. what you guys want me to be. I'm whatever age you want me to I'm be. I'm same. I'm whatever age. My yeah. Actually, my favorite age. Oh, international teachers too. I love it. I, I, there was one time I was going to be an English teacher in Japan once. It was a long story. Um, was 32. was last year. I had the time of my See, of but my your life. time is like right around the same time. That was like my favorite time. Turning 30 was the best professional decision I ever made. Yeah. It was, it was it like... That was it. Turning 30 and allowing myself to be like, I'm 30. The weight of like the, my whole existence just like dropped off of me. And it was like, I feel like when you like when you enter so your 30s, free. you start to know who you are. Oh, right? I know. Exactly. And you I, know I, what I, things you like. Can I just take like, a pause for your Manny, though? It's, a, they're, they're, it's not that great. Oh, it's not. We'll uh, I'm getting it, it done tomorrow. Done tomorrow. Yeah, okay. I'm getting it done tomorrow. Um, we might be in the song at the same time. But anyhow, um, Oh, I wanted to dispel rumors about UAE being super strict and all the things because y'all, I lived some of my best years ever in the United Arab Emirates. Wow. Like I said, when I said we got it in, we got it in, we had a good time. I would love to go there. I've only ever been in the airport. I haven't gone out and like explored. So I've touched down on soil, but not really. Well, I'm happy to host you whenever you want. I would come. absolutely love and that. And I'm serious about that. That would be absolutely incredible. Okay. Here's a, one of my favorite ones. I actually really always like to ask my friends. You As can say in- your uncle's Billy Joel, like the gal kind of stuff going on. Guys. Yes, you can drink in UAE. You can drink in hotels or anything attached to a hotel in UAE. And I if wish you live my there, uncle was. Right? And if you live there, you can get a card to be able to buy alcohol. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't even drink, so yeah. I'm actually seven years sober. Um, That's great. Thank you. I've, great, it's, been a, it's been a journey. Um, as an interior designer, uh, I love to ask people, what are the top three features your dream house would have? It tells me so much about what people value. Well, fun fact, my major in college was interior design. Really? It was. You really have lived a thousand lives. <laughs> so um, I think one of the hardest things about about having that as your career or training is that like I like so many different styles. Um, but think about, don't think about style of thing. Think about features, right? So I like, think about like for me, my like, I would need 
I want a room where I can just go in that's in my closet, basically, that like it's just a room that is like silent, but it's like filled with pillows, no TVs or anything. It's just like nice lighting filled with pillows, like sort of like a panic room, but something that I could just go in when I'm feeling like I need to like exit the world for a second. That would be my favorite. And also I want like an entire like zoo of, of all different kinds of like rescue animals. Okay. Um, and then my last one would be a guest house for all my friends to come visit. That's fun. Okay. So you said the first word is closet. Yeah. Closet. Closet. And closet again. I love a good closet. I don't know if y'all noticed on the room tour and I'm going to post my version of room tour, but all my clothes are in color order and stuff like that. Like I really take my closet wow. and my organization seriously. I, I designed a whole bed just to hold my shoes. I might may or may not have a shoe problem. But um, what kind of shoes do you love? Just any kind. Love. Like I'm actually not a huge name brand person. I just like something that's cute, stylish. My cousin has her own shoe line actually. I'll oh my god, that's fun. Give fab. a plug for Tiffany H Lake. Um, shoe lines are hard to do too because yeah. it's like you gotta get the the lasses made, like the the yeah the the form hard to make. Yeah, she has, and they're made out of Italy actually. Wow. Yeah. So of course I love hers. Um, the so other good thing, closet. Good closet, and then. Um, kind of to your point, I but I want a prayer closet. So cool. just like an area, like a quiet place where I just like have my devotion, meditation, whatever. Trisha Paytas has a prayer room. And then my third thing is the kitchen. 